The start of a new school year usually brings excitement and anticipation, but for many Muslim mothers in the UK this year, it's a different story. Over 400 mothers have come together as the Muslim Mothers Collective, voicing their deep concern about the safety of their children. They fear for their children as they navigate school hallways and playgrounds. The fear is palpable, a heavy weight on their hearts as they send their children out into a world where hate can surface in the most unexpected places. Schools should be havens of learning and growth, places where children feel safe and nurtured. Yet for these mothers, the worry is constant, a dark cloud hanging over what should be a time of joy and discovery. The fear gripping the Muslim Mothers Collective is not unfounded. It's fueled by a series of recent events that have shaken their sense of security. Across the UK, there have been disturbing reports of racist attacks targeting Muslims. In one instance, a young girl wearing a hijab was verbally abused on her way to school. In another, a mosque was vandalized with hateful graffiti. Muslim shops were set on fire in recent racist disorder and attacks. These incidents, though seemingly isolated, paint a chilling picture of intolerance and aggression. They serve as stark reminders that even in a society that prides itself on diversity and acceptance, prejudice still festers. For Muslim mothers, these news stories are not just headlines, they are potential threats to their children's well-being. They bring the issue of safety into sharp focus, making it impossible to ignore. In response to the escalating fears of Muslim parents, the Education Department has sprung into action, demonstrating a commitment to ensuring the safety and well-being of all students. Recognizing the gravity of the situation, the department has rolled out a series of measures aimed at creating a more inclusive and secure learning environment for Muslim children. One of the key initiatives involves working closely with schools to provide anti-racism and anti-bullying training for both staff and students. This training aims to educate and sensitize the school community about the harmful effects of discrimination and equip them with the tools to challenge prejudice and promote respect for diversity. Furthermore, the department is providing schools with additional resources and support to foster a culture of inclusivity and understanding. This includes access to educational materials that celebrate diversity, promote interfaith dialogue and challenge stereotypes. By taking these proactive steps, the Education Department is sending a clear message that hate and intolerance have no place in our schools. They are striving to create a learning environment where all students feel valued, respected and safe. Education Minister Paul Givan penned a heartfelt letter to the Muslim Mothers Collective. It was a personal assurance that their voices were being heard and their concerns taken seriously. Givan pledged his commitment to ensuring the safety and well-being of all students. He emphasized that every child has the right to feel secure and respected within the school gates. The letter outlined concrete steps to address Islamophobia and racism within schools. Givan's letter offered hope and reassurance, showing their concerns were heard and acted upon. Section 5. Bridging Cultures, Building Trust, The Role of Intercultural Education, in the pursuit of fostering a more inclusive and harmonious school environment for Muslim children, the Education Authority, or EA, is actively engaging its intercultural education service, the IES. The IES plays a crucial role in promoting understanding and respect between different cultures within educational settings. One of the key ways the IES achieves this is by organizing workshops and training sessions for both students and staff. These sessions aim to raise awareness about different cultures and faiths, dispelling myths and stereotypes that often fuel prejudice and discrimination. Recognizing that education extends beyond the classroom, the IES also works closely with parents and communities. They facilitate dialogues and events that bring people from different backgrounds together, fostering a sense of community and belonging. The IES's work is instrumental in creating a more welcoming and inclusive environment for Muslim children. By promoting intercultural dialogue and understanding, they are helping to break down barriers and build bridges between communities. Section 6. Safe Passage, Risk Assessments and PSNI Collaboration The commitment to ensuring the safety of Muslim children extends beyond the school gates. Recognizing that the journey to and from school can also be a source of anxiety for parents and children, the Education Department is working collaboratively with the Police Service of Northern Ireland or PSNI to mitigate potential risks. 
One of the key aspects of this collaboration involves conducting thorough risk assessments of school routes. The PSNI, in conjunction with school officials and community representatives, are identifying potential vulnerabilities and implementing measures to enhance security. In areas where there are heightened concerns, the PSNI has increased its visible presence during school start and finish times. This serves as a deterrent to potential perpetrators and provides reassurance to parents and children. By working proactively to address potential threats and ensure safe passage for all students, the Education Department and PSNI are demonstrating their unwavering commitment to creating a secure environment for all children. The lingering impact of fear. The start of a new school year brings anxieties for Muslim mothers, but the fear for their children's safety is not confined to term time. Summer holidays, typically carefree, are overshadowed by unease. Recent attacks cast a long shadow, making it hard for parents to relax. Parks and shopping centers are approached with caution. Summer holidays have become an exercise in risk assessment. The emotional toll is significant, as mothers grapple with constant worry and guilt. The threat of hate and intolerance is ever-present, casting a shadow over moments of joy. D Section 8, United We Stand, a call for community and compassion. In the face of escalating fear and division, it is more important than ever to come together as a community and reaffirm our commitment to tolerance, respect and compassion. The safety and well-being of our children, regardless of their faith or background, should be a shared priority. It is not enough to simply condemn acts of hate, we must actively challenge prejudice and discrimination whenever and wherever we encounter them. Silence is not an option, it only serves to embolden those who seek to divide us. We must create spaces for open and honest conversations about racism and Islamophobia, both within our homes and in our communities. Education is key to combating ignorance and fostering empathy. Let us stand united in solidarity with our Muslim friends and neighbors, offering them our support, allyship, and a listening ear. Together, we can create a society where all children feel safe, valued, and respected.